Okay, we are ready to go. Real good breakfast into us this morning. That was good. Had a full plate. What do you think, bud? I think the Lakers are gonna cooperate today. Oh, that'd be nice. <sighs> it's a beautiful morning. It's still better than that wind we fished in yesterday. Yeah, holy cow. Blowing straight sideways. <laughs> oh, that was raw. Yeah. <sighs> It's nice and crisp this morning. It is day number two at the Rip Dam Sporting Camps. We are ahead down the road, a short click, and we're gonna go fish third Debskaneed Lakes today. Temp is holding right at eight below Fahrenheit. No wind yet to speak of, which is a good thing. We got, oh, 10, 10 minute drive down to the parking area, and then a good 12 mile ride in on the snowmobiles. Targeting togue today, otherwise known as lake trout. And we're gonna be looking at them with the underwater cameras, fishing them with the pan optics, and also setting some traps for them, otherwise known as tip-ups. Had a really, really good afternoon night and night last night, cusk fishing. Ended up with 13 topside. I got my personal best so far, personal biggest at 5.66 pounds, which I am stoked about. We caught three really nice eaters, but they froze solid on us before we could get off the ice. We didn't bring them in the ice shack, so we won't be eating those today either. We'll thaw them out, hopefully eat them sometime within the next few days. Guys, we are loaded up, about to head in. Where are we heading today? I don't even Where know. are we going to Third Debs Kanee. Third Debs Kanee. We're going to chase some lake trout. Nice. How's the ride in? It's going to be beautiful. All yeah. nice groomed trail, 12 miles. Perfect. Some good views of the mountain. Nice. Go down the West Branch, it'll be a good ride. Awesome, sweet. We're uh, tandemed up here, got all the gear in this one, plenty of room to spare. There's the mountain there, the parking lot, and a bunch of people doing some winter hiking. Good for them. <laughs> We're ready to go. See you guys when we get in there. What do you think, buddy? I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, we're Starting looking good. Start. Yeah. Okay, we made it out. We are checking with a Garmin to find some structure. We're looking for humps and rocks and edges, and there's a big school of smelt right here at 50. So I drilled a hole right above it, 50 feet away, and there's a big school of smelt on top of that rock pile. Had one casualty coming out. The Markham did not make it out. A little too cold for it, I think. Hit a, hit a bump or something. And uh, that'll, that's the end of that Markham. Hey, we just got our traps in. We both set four traps because we're going to set up the otter tent and do some jigging. And we're just setting up that tent, just started to open it up and got a high flyer over here. Let's see what's going on. We left the scoop back there. It's just snow. It doesn't appear to be moving yet. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, did it roll? This water's so clear, it's playing tricks on my eyes. This is clear water, gin clear. It's definitely tripped wide open, but it's not moving. And direction, it is off to the side. What do you usually do here? You hit him pretty quick or hit him? Oh yeah, I think he's there. Somebody's home. Yeah. Oh, I just pulled it right out of his mouth, I think. It felt small. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he took it for a little run. He had it like mouth. Did he clean you? Nah. Feels like there's still bait. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I thought I saw one. No, oh, I saw him. Okay, yeah, there was one there. There right? was. All right. Fish do live in this lake. I swear. I believe you. <laughs> That's weird. He like came in, just skirted way around. All right, we are struggling, guys. Saw one fish on the electronics, and he wasn't even interested. So we're gonna make a move. We're gonna try a little deeper water. See if this high pressure and bluebird skies pushed him down. Weather is not how they predicted it. It's really blowing hot. Got him. Nice. He came screaming. Yeah, out. he did. All right. Well, I'm I guess it was worth the move. Yeah, we just, that was first drop. He doesn't feel huge, but he's, he came screaming in. He's getting, he's getting a little more fight to him now. We go backwards. He's hooked to the ice. All right, we're on the board, buddy. Hey, hey. That's a pretty fish. Nice, man. First drop. I guess it yep. was worth going a little deeper. Yeah. I switched over to the rattle trap too, and he must have heard that thing rattle. You see how fast he flew <laughs> He in? got out of nowhere. Literally, you just got down there. You, could you grab this? Oh, yeah, I got the wires here. You hang these togue upside down, they usually stop flopping. Oh, he's all yours. Good job. Get him. All right, he's skinny, but he's long. Oh, nice, nice. All right, guys, it's 1040. That's our first one top side. It's been a tough day, slow day, high pressure, bluebird skies. We just made a move with this little shack and literally first drop, we got down to about 70 foot of water and he came flying out of the side and uh, jumped on that rattle trap. He didn't even hesitate. No, no not even a little not bit. Not even a little bit. So, I guess we'll just let him go, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I got a buddy that would eat him, but we're still, I'm still quite a few days away from being home. Nice. Cool, on the board. That'll wake you up. Yeah. I'm still a little tired from last night's cut <laughs> fishing. Oh, man. That's a lure that a lot of people overlook. It's a bass lure, but yeah. it's so loud. And you saw how far he came in from. Man, they fight way harder here than they do in Sebago. Really? Oh my God, yeah. All right, guys, if you're just tuning in, we are fishing out of the Rip Dam Sporting Camps. And we're, today we are on, what are we on? Third Debska Niag. <laughs> Something like that. De Debs Koneg. Deb Debsikanog. <laughs> You've probably heard them all. Oh. Is that just us or was that a fish? I think one coming in and looked at me. Really? Yeah. Oh, was there one there? Yeah, there was. He's like, what is that thing? If he's too small, I'll take him. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn to have the small ones Right? Today. Yeah, I'll take all smalls today. <laughs> So, Max, what's the proper pronunciation for this lake? We are on Third Debskine. Yep, it was. He just bolted out. Yep. Debskine, an absolutely beautiful lake. I wish it wasn't blowing straight sideways out there, guys, or I'd show you around a little bit more. Yeah. But what was the weather forecast today? Oh, we got a, a nice light five to ten mile an hour breeze today. Yeah. Variable, and the the very the variation is. <laughs> it's ripping. Yeah. It's bad. A steady 20, dusting 30. Yeah. Yep. This is starting to get a little serious. Yeah. We're dealing with this again today. Yep, this freeze is over. There's a hole under this somewhere. <laughs> There's one hole, but he's small. Yeah. Real small. Real small. Your turn. Real small. Is he getting bigger? Oh, look at that. He's about the size of my bait. 
pretty though. Yeah. Holy cow, that's pretty fish. We're on the board, guys. Get a close up of that. It's pretty as heck. It's like gold. And yeah. Beautiful spotted. So maybe I'll downsize some hooks if they're going to be that size. Shakes. big but we'll take them biggest one of the day right there so far number three pretty fish that's pretty fish right there All right, guys, we are picking up. We still got an hour or two of daylight left, but we want to get out of here and get back to the ranch. We're going to take a little snowmobile ride first. Max is going to show me second Deb's Kanig and some other really cool trails and cool areas around here first. Fishing wise, it was one of those days fishing. You know, we broke off, we broke electronics, we broke skimmers, we broke a lot of stuff. and. They just were not biting. They weren't moving around. We didn't see any on the screen. And Max talked to his buddy down lake who had 10 traps out. They'd only had one flag the entire day. So we got out of here with three fish topside, I think. Not the worst day. Could have been way worse.
What's she doing? Smell fuel. Yeah. You smell it? Yeah. Do we got a strap? I got a strap. I got, yeah. I got a tow rope and everything. Boy, I hate to put you guys out. No, ain't no. nothing to us. Yeah. Man. It's actually your lucky day. We we weren't planning on coming this way for one and two. <laughs> right? And two uh we quit early. Yeah. yeah no. she's, you she's got that tool to pull the belt? Uh, oh. Should have a tool right now. Okay. Try it one more time, or you want to just? Oh tell, yeah, yeah, I'll try. It. Or do you want to tow them? If it'll run, I mean. You think you got enough power? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, no worries. We'll yeah. tow you. That's a corking little jet tote sled, huh? Jesus. 30 years ago. You made it? Yeah. Wow. Two tent baskets and two bait buckets and two lunch pails in. That's awesome. We made a friend of mine there. We went all the time in the first. Put another, put two lunch boxes in there. Wow. It's pretty light? Yeah, it's all aluminum. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Did you ever get any big salmon in there? I've, I haven't caught a salmon in there for a long time. Really? Yeah. Toe's pretty good, that thing? Yeah. yeah. So i got to put some more uh, steads on the back. Put, uh, Let me pull you up so I can unhook your, uh, yeah. I'll hook that up to me. And you, you're sure you've got enough power, huh? You'll be all right. I gotta ask, kill switch. Was it oh, kill? Yeah, I got. I just gotta ask. I just checked. The okay, I gotta ask because I've done it. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I've burned a battery up one time because I didn't know that. Max, you want me to pull up, get out of your way, or back? It might be hard to back up all three. I'll go up on the other side of the bridge, let you get a running start.
behind you. No, no, I'm hey, I think they need a push. Yeah. You need a push? We'll give you a push. Don't go too far back, okay? Yeah. We could probably hook on with that snowmobile. Yeah, that's Ready? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. No, I don't think she's out yet. Out. Yeah. Out yeah. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you out of there. We'll go back another three or four feet. Ready? That's good. Yeah. So you just wait one second. Let me make sure you're okay on this side. Yeah, if you want to come back slow, just go slow so it doesn't spin down. All right, now if you cut your wheels, you can come forward now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. No problem. Good luck. Oh, you guys are helping everybody today. Hey. It's our day. It's our lucky day. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Oh, no problem. Put that on the trailer. We'll give you a hand. Yeah. yeah. We'll give you a hand. It's our lucky day if we can help people is the way I look at it. Our pleasure, guys. We are about to hammer on some cusk nuggets. Yes. And mashed taters. Yes. Doesn't get much better. No. That. No, it doesn't. We're both smoke tired. I think catching these cusks kind of wore us out. <laughs> yeah, no a doubt mid, about a, that. A midnight bedtime with a 4.30, with a 4.30 wake up. Kind of put us behind the eight ball today. Yeah. For sure, I'm feeling it. Yeah, me, bad. me too. And then that wind, the wind, 
when you're ice fishing just takes all your energy out at the end of the day you're like i'm always smoke tired i don't yeah. know about you oh i was over it today yeah that five to ten mile an hour wind blowing a steady 20 all day was yeah. pretty sickening yeah it sure was yeah so fishing was really tough the fish were off we were not catching them but we ended up salvaging the day an awesome day <laughs> yeah. max pulled an older fella out geez probably six miles i don't yeah. know half six way seven in. miles yeah six seven miles saved him a a walk and yeah. another tow job right yeah he towed him right out with him and his gear and we got him loaded up and then as we were doing that we helped an old lady who was stuck <laughs> in the snow and we met a couple pretty cool guys that are into rock climbing talked to them for a while so all in all really excellent day yeah yeah fishing wasn't spectacular but you get that fishing that's why they call it fishing hey so what do you think bud? what are we gonna do tomorrow hopefully do a lot more than what we did today. Oh, we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about that. No, I don't know. Hopefully get into some nice splake. Splake and brook trout. Beautiful. Give it a whirl. All right, splake and brook trout for tomorrow, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you then.